Hello, beautiful people from YouTube. My name is Renee, and today we're talking about beautiful children of white person alone. I about Matt Taylor, Bennett White Fan, and Sarah Dylan, Corey Mills, best fan. Now, Sarah Dylan is Dean, this guy in. Chicago, but this guy is always cheating on her, and she's just tired of all the life. So she moved to New York with Bennett and Chloe and get a job with them. And that very fun night, they go out and she meet this man. Now she don't know the the man name, and the man don't know hers. So they go by Ginger and Petal. I think that would um call her. Um. Yeah. So they become very intimate really fast, and how. You know, they on to know that he went to a meeting with Benny and Sarah was there. And Sarah didn't they were freaking out. They are like, how do you know Ben and everything? And they are like, well, I my name is Max. Nice to meet you. And we are what call, we are what buddies. We own a business together. And I'm Bennett, but then his business and her and um, Bennett business then work together every now and then, and that way he was there. But he wanted to see Sarah too, so that way he was there a little bit more than the meeting. Um, yeah, so then we then we having. A relationship but not like a romantic relationship and more like a intimate relationship and she don't want to be seen with him she don't want to take picture with him she don't want nothing to do with him just the intimate part that's it and then my son, like, why I really, really like you. I want to date you. I want to move it forward. So they want to, he really, really want to know her in a deeper level and want to know everything about her. And she there kind of faith and kind of not at the same time because or as a boyfriend to a uh, advantage of her love and just really vocal in to have so she is really afraid of finding love with this man that she been just met and she was like okay I could do this but not yet. You know, she don't want to fall, with, fall for him too soon and something bad will happen. That's what she always thinks. You know, something bad didn't happen. Um, so, then go to this, then very intimate in, in like, public places. Then very intimate in public places. That, the thing. So one one night, um, Matt Ben owned a intimate club, and so they go there. And they be intimate, and um, right there and then, she really want to open up and fall for him. So she does, and be like, they give it a chance. And she was like, really? So, you know, um, 
basically the entirety of a chance and something happens in the book. I don't want to tell you what happens, but something crazy happens that they broke up, kind of told her they weren't really dating, but they broke up and they wanted to come out saying that we are a couple, but this little thing that happened, she back up a little bit. She was afraid as what would happen. So, turned out that it was all lies, and he wanted to go, she wanted to go see him, and he was like, why did you do that? I told you that I love you, and you did that to me, and she was, she felt so bad, but the, for the first time ever, it was the opposite. They met, but being hurt, being all sad and depressed, and she was, she was sad and depressed, but she was the heartbreaker instead of being heartbreaking. So, um, so they came out saying that we all together and we all in a relationship. So that like the end of the book. They like said I didn't want it to say too much about it. You didn't need to read it because what I do is I feel like I seen too much. You know, I feel like I seen the whole book. So basically. You know, they, they meet like that, and they, she finally opened up saying that, I love you. I mean, she haven't said that to her the whole book, but it was there. She wanted to fall, fall in love with him, but she was also afraid because she been hurt with her ex-boyfriend, and they were all over the newspapers and magazines and that what she didn't want from him because he was also in magazine with different women but it was all lie an uh, image that he need to have and everything so she was then both were thinking she don't love me and all this but in the end of the day they Found love with each other, and very end of the book, they are like, "Don't leave me again," and and if you do, you will kill me, you know, like wreck me. And they both were feeling the same way, hurt and in love and heartbreaking, but they both were afraid of falling for each other because what act happened you know because they said something happened in the book but i don't want to tell you what it is you didn't need to read it can i tell you what it is that the bit plot line what i happened and i really don't want to tell you what happened because yeah so this is a beautiful channel. It's very good. It's totally different from Bridget by Bowser. Bridget by Bowser was a hate to love. And they only were like, I afraid to love you Ty. And she trying to be like, he trying to be like, it's okay to love me. I mean, I won't hurt you like your ex boyfriend did. And what was painful for her because it was all over the magazine and new paper. She didn't want it to, to go to that again. So I really like it. I get a five sauce. You know, it really makes you think about, about what happened to you in real life. Is that you know, where everybody find out that that you both were cheating on you but you don't want to face 
the truth until you know we're in the end and you just how breaking that you can't trust anybody so it's really good i mean you really think about that so i give you five stars like i said and so the next book that for sure for sure i didn't read is yeah is first or up so i i didn't read the next right now so i'll talk to you later thank you for watching bye